George Edward Clinton, born July 22, 1941 is an American singer, songwriter, record producer, and bandleader. His Parliament Funkadelic Collective, which primarily recorded under the distinct band names Parliament and Funkadelic, developed an influential and eclectic form of funk music during the 1970s that drew on Afrofuturism, outlandish fashion, psychedelia, and surreal humor. He launched his solo career with the 1982 album Computer Games and would go on to influence 1990s hip-hop and G-funk. Clinton is regarded, along with James Brown and Sly Stone, as one of the foremost innovators of funk music. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997, alongside 15 other members of Parliament Funkadelic. In 2019, he and Parliament Funkadelic were given Grammy Lifetime Achievement Awards. Career Beginnings George Edward Clinton was born in Kannapolis, North Carolina, grew up in Plainfield, New Jersey, and currently, when, resides in Tallahassee, Florida. During his teen years, Clinton formed a doo-wop group inspired by Frankie Lyman and the teenagers called The Parliaments, while straightening hair at a barbershop in Plainfield, New Jersey. The west end of Plainfield was once home to a barbershop on 216 Plainfield Avenue known as Silk Palace. Owned in part by Clinton, it was staffed by various members of Parliament Funkadelic and known as the hangout for all the local singers and musicians in Plainfield's 1950s and 1960s doo-wop, soul, rock, and proto-funk music scene. 1960s and 1970s for a period in the 1960s, Clinton was a staff songwriter for Motown. Despite initial commercial failure and one major hit single, I Wanna, Testify in 1967, as well as arranging and producing scores of singles on many of the independent Detroit soul music labels, the Parliaments eventually found success under the names Parliament and Funkadelic in the 1970s, see also P-Funk. These two bands combined the elements of musicians such as Jimi Hendrix, Sly and the Family Stone, Frank Zappa, and James Brown while exploring various sounds, technology, and lyricism. Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic dominated black music during the 1970s, with over 40 R&B hit singles, including three number ones, and three platinum albums. From 1971 to late 1973, Clinton and several other members of the band settled in Toronto. During their years in Toronto, they honed their live show and recorded the album America Eats Its Young, which was their first to feature Bootsy Collins. 1980s In the 1980s, Clinton began to encounter legal difficulties arising from Polygram's acquisition of Parliament's label, Casablanca Records. He recorded several solo albums, although all of these records featured contributions from P-Funk's core musicians. This period of Clinton's career was marred by multiple legal problems resulting in financial difficulties due to royalty and copyright issues, notably with Bridgeport Music, who Clinton claims fraudulently obtained the copyrights to many of his recordings. In 1982, Clinton was signed to Capitol Records under two names, his own as a solo artist, and as the P-Funk All-Stars, releasing computer games under his own name that same year. The single Loopzilla hit the top 20 on the R&B charts, followed by Atomic Dog, which reached number 1 R&B and number 101 on the pop chart. I and the next four years, Clinton released three more studio albums, You Shoot Nuff Bit Fish, Some of My Best Jokes Are Friends, and R&B Skeletons in the Closet, as well as a live album. Mothership Connection, Live from the Summit, Houston, Texas, and charting three singles in the R&B Top 30, Nubian Nut, Last Dance, and Do Fries Go With That Shake? He is also a notable music producer who works on almost all the albums he performs on, and has produced albums for Bootsy Collins and Red Hot Chili Peppers, among others. In 1985, he was recruited by the Chili Peppers to produce their album Freaky Styly, because the band members were huge fans of his and of funk in general. Clinton wrote the vocals and lyrics to the title track, which was originally intended by the band to be left as an instrumental piece. The album was not a commercial success at the time. In 1987, Clinton was recruited to write the theme song for the Tracy Ullman show, You're Thinking Right. During the mid to late 1980s, many hip-hop and rap artists cited Clinton's earlier music as an influence. Along with James Brown, 
Clinton's songs with Parliament Funkadelic were often sampled by rap producers. Sure, sample my stuff, he remarked in 1996, ain't a better time to get paid than when you're my age. You know what to do with money. You don't buy as much pussy or drugs with it, you just buy some. In 1989, Clinton released The Cinderella Theory on Paisley Park, Prince's record label. 1990s to 2000s. George Clinton performing with Parliament Funkadelic at Pori Jazz 2014 in Finland. Clinton continued his work with Paisley Park with Hey, Man, Smell My Finger in 1993. The year 1994 saw Clinton contribute to several tracks on Primal Scream's studio album, Give Out, But Don't Give Up. In 1995, Clinton sang Mind Games on the John Lennon tribute Working Class Hero. Clinton then signed with Sony 550 and released TAPOAFOM, The Awesome Power of a Fully Operational Mothership, in 1996. Clinton appeared in films such as Graffiti Bridge, 1990, House Party, 1990, PCU, 1994, Good Burger, 1997, and The Breaks, 1999. In 1994, he appeared as the host of the anthology television film Cosmic Slop. In 1997, he appeared as himself in the Cartoon Network show Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Clinton also appeared as the voice of the Funktopus, the DJ of the funk radio station Bounce FM in the 2004 video game Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, in which his song Loopzilla also appeared. Rapper Dr. Dre often sampled Clinton's music, helping to bring about the G-Funk era. In 1999, Clinton collaborated with Lil' Kim and Fred Durst for rap metal group Methods of Mayhem's single, Get Naked. Displaying his influence on rap and hip-hop, Clinton also worked with Tupac Shakur on the song Can't See Me from the album All Eyes on Me, Ice Cube on the song and video for Bop Gun, One Nation, on the Lethal Injection album, which sampled Funkadelic's earlier hit One Nation under a groove, Outcast on the song Synthesizer from the album Equimini, Red Man on the song J.U.M.P. from the album Malpractice, Souls of Mischief on Mama Knows Best from the album Trilogy, Conflict, Climax, Resolution, Kill a Priest on Come With Me from the album Priesthood, The Wu-Tang Clan on Wolves from the album Eight Diagrams. Clinton founded a record label called The Sea Conspiracy in 2003. He had a cameo appearance in Where Were We, the season two premiere of the CBS television sitcom How I Met Your Mother, on September 18, 2006. He appeared on the intro to Snoop Dogg's The Blue Carpet Treatment album, released in 2007. Clinton was also a judge for the 5th Annual Independent Music Awards. On September 16, 2008, Clinton released a solo album, George Clinton and His Gangsters of Love, on Shanaki Records. Largely a covers album, Gangsters, features guest appearances from Sly Stone, Elda Barge, Red Hot Chili Peppers, RZA, Carlos Santana, gospel singer Kim Burrell, and more. On September 10, 2009, Clinton was awarded the Urban Icon Award from Broadcast Music Incorporated. The ceremony featured P-Funk associate Bootsy Collins, as well contemporary performers such as Big Boy from Outkast and CeeLo Green from Goody Mob. Also in 2009, Clinton was inducted into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. 2010s to 2020s On March 7, 2010, Clinton voiced a colorful blob alien version of himself in T-Paint's adult swim television movie, Freaknik the musical. In May 2012, Clinton was awarded an honorary doctorate of music from Berklee College of Music. During the commencement concert, Clinton joined the college's P-Funk Ensemble to perform hits like Testify, Give Up the Funk, and One Nation Under a Groove. He was accompanied by longtime horn players Benny Cowan and Greg Thomas. Clinton was a guest star in Odd Future's television show Loiter Squad on Adult Swim in 2013. On June 27, 2015, Clinton joined Mark Ronson, Mary J. Blige and Grandmaster Flash on stage at the Glastonbury Festival to perform Ronson's hit Uptown Funk. Clinton also appears with Kendrick Lamar on the song Wesley's Theory from the album To Pimp a Butterfly. In March 2017, Clinton appeared on the Adult Swim television series Fish Center Live. The outline Samuel Argyle described it as the episode that makes the most cohesive narrative sense. 
Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic were slated to headline the 7th annual Treefort Music Fest in Boise, Idaho in 2018. The release of a new Parliament album, Medicaid Fraud Dog, was announced in March 2018. It was released May 22, 2018. In April 2018, Clinton announced that he would retire from touring in May 2019. Billboard reported that Clinton had recently undergone pacemaker surgery, but he said that was not a factor in his decision. He indicated that he expected Parliament Funkadelic would continue to tour without him, saying, Truth be told, it's never really been about me. It's always been about the music and the band. That's the real P Funk legacy. They'll still be funkin' long after I stop. Earlier in 2018, he told Rolling Stone that he had made a hologram, suggesting that the band could have it start performing in Vegas. In December 2018, the Recording Academy announced that Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic would be given Lifetime Achievement Awards. The awards were presented on May 11, 2019. Clinton collaborated with Flying Lotus on his new album Flamagra, released on May 24, 2019. The track Burning Down the House was co-written by Clinton. Clinton also provided the voice of King Quincy, leader of the Funk Trolls, in the 2020 animated film, Trolls World Tour. In 2022, Clinton competed in season 8 of The Masked Singer as Gopher. After being eliminated on Hall of Fame night alongside George Foreman as Venus Flytrap, Clinton did a performance of Give Up the Funk, Tear the Roof Off the Sucker, while backed up by Sheila E., Nick Cannon, and Robin Thicke. He also exhibited paintings and sculptures in a solo show at Jeffrey Deitch Gallery in Los Angeles with artist Lauren Halsey. Personal Life Clinton married Stephanie Lynn Clinton in 1990. In February 2013, after 22 years of marriage, he filed for divorce. Clinton is married to Carlin Thompson Clinton, his manager of over 10 years. On February 1, 2010, Clinton's 50-year-old son, George Clinton Jr., was found dead in his Florida home. According to police, he died of natural causes and had been dead for several days. Clinton was inducted as an honorary member of Omega Sci-Fi on July 30, 2020. Clinton received an honorary doctorate of humane letters from Clinton College in Rock Hill, South Carolina on May 3, 2024.